Welcome to Episode 8 of Drawing the Line. Today we are visiting Mustang Valley Ranch, owned and operated by Greg and Catherine Diaz and Deborah Alfred. Located in the foothills of western Nevada County, Mustang Valley Ranch is not your ordinary ranch. You won't find cattle, horses, or sheep here, but you will find well, something else. Yes, alpacas. Alpacas look like small llamas, but unlike most llamas, alpacas are not used as pack animals. Instead, well, alpacas are raised for their lustrous and silky natural fiber coats, which are used to create blankets, sweaters, hats, and gloves. I personally find alpacas great subjects to draw, mainly because they are so cute well, and goofy looking. So let's go draw some alpacas. These are some really cute critters going here. And Looks like they work up an appetite. It was a real hot day today, so I'd be hungry too. Okay, let's do it. You know the alpacas are in the camel family. They're a lot smaller. I guess they're related to uh, the llamas. They've got great hairdos. I think that's one thing I like about the alpacas. They look like Rod Stewart. Or... <laughs> or Tina Turner, even. That would be, I, I can see a lot of, you know, it's uh... Look at this one staring right at us. Let's get that over them too. That's just a great look. This one looks like uh, Ringo Starr. They're looking at me as if they, they're posing, which is great. You can keep up the work, good work, girls. <laughs> oh, look at, oh, that's a great shot. That's a cute one. Let's try another angle. Let's paint this little lady over here by the dinner trough, okay? She's got a quite an appetite for such a small little petite alpaca. Let's see, let's get, I want to do a facial shot of her. She's just beautiful. I love their hairdos. Girl, let's see that, yeah. What's great about alpacas is they don't have to kill them to, to make money from them. They can just shear their, their lustrous, fibrous <laughs> coat and then sell it for people that make sweaters and blankets and all that kind of stuff out of those are great fur. Out of their great fur.
And she's got a little bit of straw in her mouth too, so let's... There you go. Well, as you can see, I'm sweating like a stuck pig out here. It's close to 100 degrees, and we're surrounded by alpacas. Well, look at over here. This is what we call a group shot. We got them all at the dinner trough. We got heads and neck everywhere. So, let's try it. This is a great, great shot. Let's see, we got one looking at me. We got several heads over there. Look at those hairdos. Whoa. Some of them look like they have beetle haircuts. Oh, this one's a good one, too. I think they're eating alfalfa right now. That's what it looks like to me. I like a little more, well, protein in my diet, but that's cool. It's a little like whiskers, but it's actually alfalfa. Oh, look at this one right here. We go to the right, our right over here, and we can see a really great looking young lady. Pan back here, you can see what I mean. Oh, let's get one more in there, like he's looking at us, or like she's looking at us. I keep referring to them as males, but these are all females. There we go, a group of alpacas. I want to thank Deborah, Catherine, and Greg for having us out here today at Mustang Valley Alpaca. Please join us next week for episode nine of Drawing the Line.